Episode 32K Gerda found an article about Estonia, written in February 2022 titled Carbon Neutrality is a Fairy Tale, about wood burning in Estonia. Wood pellets are falsely sold as a clean alternative to coal. What happened in Estonia demonstrates how the subsidized industrial wood burning boom accelerated the climate crisis. An Estonian man stands on a bald patch of land in the heart of Estonia's Honja Nature Reserve and remembers when he could walk straight from one side of the reserve to the other under a canopy of trees. The man has lived in the uplands in the southern county of Voru in Estonia for more than 10 years. His closeness to the forest has shaped his life as a carpenter and the fortunes of the surrounding villages, with their handicraft traditions, a substitute for farming on the poor arable land. Upcountry, travel literature promotes the region to city dwellers, promising its ancient woodlands as a place to rest and reinvigorate the mind. But in 2015, the Estonian government allowed what is known as clear-cutting in some parts of the Hanja Nature Reserve. The practice involves stripping entire areas of mature forest and removing whole tree trunks. This relaxation of the logging rules came as international demand for Estonian wood soared because of an unlikely culprit, Europe's renewable energy policies. Sometimes I can't bear to go outside, the Estonian man says, standing by the stumps left on land, stripped by the logging company Valgapuu. The firm is a subsidiary of Granol Invest Group, Europe's biggest producer of the wood pellets, which are burned on an industrial scale for heat and light in many of Europe's former coal-fired power stations. Forests cover more than half of Estonia. Mature protected zones are managed under the legally binding provisions of the 1979 EU Birds Directive and the 1992 Habitats Directive. Environmental campaigners say that by allowing intensive clear-cutting in Natura 2000 sites, Estonia is in breach of the Habitats Directive and undermining the EU's climate goals. A representative of the non-profit Estonian Fund for Nature, ELF, doesn't just blame the Estonian government. He says there is a direct connection between the subsidized growth in the biomass industry encouraged by EU renewable energy policies and the acceleration of unsustainable Baltic tree felling. Intensification of logging is driven by higher demand for biomass for heat and power, says a report by ELF and the Latvian Ornithological Society.